here we go with more fun solving equations. In this case, we still want to solve for these variables, but now there's an added complication. This is tougher than a one-step or a two-step equation because here we have not only numbers on both sides, but now we have variables on both sides. So on the top one here, we have n on the left, n on the right. Down here, we have m on the left, m on the right. So these are solving equations with variables on both sides. The thought process, though, is really no different than the thought process we go through for solving any other equations. We want to get letters by themselves and the numbers by themselves. So usually what I do, it doesn't really matter, but usually I'll send the letters to the left, numbers to the right. Letters to the left, numbers to the right. And a lot of times uh, math teachers will kind of set this up and even draw a line going right down through the equal sign so that you definitely are keeping both sides of the equation separate. Anything you do to one side, you also have to do to the other side. Some teachers refer to this as setting it up as a tennis court. And you may have had a teacher tell you that in the past. So let's get going on this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the letters. I'm going to get the letters on the left. So we've got the 4n on the left, and we've got the negative 2n on the right. Let's get rid of this thing on the right. Let's move it over to the left-hand side. So if we want to get rid of it, just like we've been doing before, just like if you're dealing with a number, if you want to get rid of something, you do the opposite. So the opposite of negative 2n is plus 2n. Negative 2n plus 2n cancels out. It equals 0. But because this is an equation, any change you make to one side, you need to make that same change to the other. So if we're going to add 2n to this side, we need to add 2n over here. Let's rewrite what we have now. 6, we'll rewrite that. 4n plus 2n is plus 6n. Notice I wrote the 2n under the 4n because these are like terms. Just like in the combining like terms problems that we did before, you can't combine the 2n and the 6, but we certainly can combine the 2n and the 4n. They're like terms. They both contain that n term in them. And now what's left over here? The 2n's are gone, but the 12 remains. So I'll rewrite the 12. Now we just have a two-step equation. We can solve it just like we've been doing before. We want to get the n by itself. Let's get rid of this positive 6, and let's get rid of this times 6 right here. Let's start with the 6. The opposite of a positive 6, it's not written, but if it's not written, you can assume that that's going to be a positive 6. So the opposite of positive 6 is minus 6. If you subtract 6 from this side, you need to subtract 6 from the right-hand side as well. 6 minus 6 is 0, they cancel. What's left? 6n is left is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6. Alright, now let's do. 6 times n is equal to 6. How can we get rid of this times 6? The opposite of times 6 is, of course, divided by 6. The opposite of multiplication is division. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So they cancel. But if we divide this side by 6, we had better divide the right hand by 6 as well. So we're left with n is equal to 6 divided by 6 is 1. If you're unsure if that's right, go ahead and put 1 in for n here. Put 1 in for n here. Do the multiplication the addition here. Do the multiplication the addition here. And you should end up with the same number on both sides. It's a great way to check. The second problem. M is on both sides. We want to solve for M, but there's a little extra bonus here. We have to do a little distributing first. We need to get rid of those parentheses. Remember what the parentheses mean. This means six times everything inside the parentheses. So we're going to be doing six times M and six times negative two. Don't forget that negative sign has to go with that two. So it's six times N, 6 times negative 2. So let's do that right away. That would be 6m, and 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Let's just rewrite what we have over here. 12 
plus 2m. And now it's just like the problem that we had before. Let's get the letters on the left, the numbers on the right. So let's start by getting rid of this one over here. I can draw my line down the center to make sure I keep both sides separate from one another. Let's get rid of 2m. The opposite of positive 2m, the opposite of addition is subtraction, so minus 2m. 2m minus 2m equals 0, so they cancel. But if I take 2m away from one side, I had better take it away from the other side as well, and I'm going to write it underneath the 6m, because 6m and negative 2m are like terms. So 6m minus 2m is 4m. Let's just rewrite what's left. Just rewrite the negative 12, rewrite the positive 12 here. Now let's continue to solve for m. We want to get rid of the times 4. We want to get rid of the minus 12. Let's get rid of that minus 12 first. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So instead of subtracting 12, we will add 12. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. They cancel. If I add 12 to one side, to make this remain a valid equation, I need to make sure I add 12 to the other side. So, what's left over here on the left? Well, 4m is left. The 12 is gone. It's equal to 12 plus 12, which is 24. And now we're down to a one-step equation. Solve for m. We want to get rid of that times 4. The opposite of multiplication is division. So to get rid of times 4, I will divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1, so they cancel out. If I divide this side by 4, I had better divide that side by 4 as well. And what's left? m is equal to 24 divided by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So there's your solution. So this is solving equations when there's a variable on both sides. So up here we had n's on both sides as well as numbers. In the second problem we had m terms on both sides. And so we just got the letters on the left, the numbers on the right, then solved them like they were normal equations, and we ended up with our two solutions.